Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Kirsty and this is Stuck in the Mud. So in today's video I wanted to talk about the difference between a thought and thinking because they are different and I wanted to do to discuss how this relates to your OCD. So a thought can just arise. It can be nice like fluffy thoughts, just really nice things or it could be something we're really uncomfortable with and we think what does this say about me? And that is the OCD in us. Because I get this, I've had this a lot in the past where I'll get these really uncomfortable thoughts and you think, just why? Why is it there? So that is where the OCD comes in because OCD does not like these uncomfortable thoughts because it wants to work out why they're there. So OCD wants to keep us stuck and trapped in the cycle of trying to establish why we're having this intrusive thought. Why did this just arise there in my mind? And then that is the thinking because the thought just pops up. We have no control over them. They just pop up, they arise in our mind but then we do have control over the thinking. And this is again another light bulb moment for, um, for the OCD when we're stuck in this OCD cycle, this cycle of rumination and trying to work everything out. This is amazing to find this out because this is gonna help you get better. It's gonna help you get through and get on that healing journey that you're, you just so deserve, we all deserve this, we don't deserve to be stuck there and it's so hard with OCD, I know how hard it can get and it's so easy, it's very easy to get caught up in those intrusive thoughts that we have no control over, they just arise in our mind but the difference is, you know, as an OCD sufferer, we get these arising in our minds and we want to work out why but guess what? Everybody gets these thoughts. Everybody gets these random thoughts. And because as the OCD sufferer is so sensitive to it, and guess what? We're probably wired a little bit differently to everyone else. And I've said it a million times in our video, I really do feel that OCD sufferers are just that little bit more sensitive to this kind of thing. Like, why? you know, we want to really establish why we're getting it because you know what I honestly believe that OCD sufferers are just super super sensitive souls and we really care and we don't like to think that we could think anything so terrible or uncomfortable anything that could make us feel like it's bad like a bad thought whereas they are just thoughts but there we have the thought, the intrusive, uncomfortable thought, and then we have the thinking about the thought, and that is where we can make a difference and we can move forward and say, you know what, that was just a thought. And when we really get to grips with that and practice some consistency in recognising just the thought, then we can do something about the thinking side of things. And that is the rumination because we have control over that part and it might feel at the beginning and I and I fully understand if you're going through this right now that that's going to feel difficult at first because we're so accustomed to trying to get involved and working it out because you know you're, you're a good person you want to figure out why am I having these disturbing thoughts you know they can be really scary thoughts sometimes and we think well why am I thinking about this what does this say about me but that is what we can do something about because the thought doesn't say anything about you. We get random thoughts arising in our minds and because we're super sensitive to this information that's out there in the world, we're gonna latch onto it when we suffer from OCD because we want to exonerate ourselves from any anything to do with this thought because it's just so against everything we are as a person. But that's how OCD keeps you there. It wants to keep you thinking, it wants to keep you ruminating and trying to establish that, you know, that that's not anything to do with you. But that's a problem. And we do get stuck there. 
time and time again I've been stuck there over the years. 40 years I've been dealing with obsessive compulsive disorder and and I really feel I can make a difference to you that's maybe listening to this now because I know what works for this and what works is using some mindfulness so we become aware of the fact that we've had an uncomfortable thought arise in our mind and then we can have some control over the thinking side of things and the rumination because we can recognize it's just a thought and they are just thoughts that arise in our mind in our consciousness that you know we we're in the world we're gathering information and experiences around us the media today it's everywhere on our tablets you know it's everywhere on the tvs it's just we're consumed by it and we pick up a lot of different information and they can just randomly crop up in our mind and we can really want to try and figure out it and work it out why am i having this why am i having this random thought this uncomfortable thought scary thought they can be really they can be really really frightening some of these thoughts i know because i've had many of them and that is where we can make that difference we can recognize it's just a thought through our awareness we can go right that's just a thought and then we can say i'm not going to do anything with it i'm going to let it be there and it can do whatever it wants it can try it you know we I think we can acknowledge when we have those that internal that internal voice where it's like well why am I having this question mark what does it say about me question mark so the thought can arise that we have no control over and then the thinking which we do have control over we can let those questions that arise around the thought be there let them be there do whatever they want for as long as they want and we have to practice patience with this because it can take some take some time to to get to grips with all of this and the consistency of practicing this as well and we have to really be gentle with ourselves and you know and practice that self-compassion that we deserve because it's tough it's really hard and it's it sounds so simple all of this like just let the thought be there how can I let it be there you know I can hear people saying that to me because I was one of those people in the past like how can I just let a thought be there how can I be okay with a thought just arising but they are just thoughts they're not attached to you whatsoever they just arise in our consciousness and say nothing about you I really hope this has helped you today to establish the difference there and let me know in the comments how you've been getting along with this and I really hope this gets you back on track and along with your recovery especially now at the start of 2024 we're going to do things differently we are going to recognize that it's just a thought it says nothing about us and we're going to have as least involvement with it as possible and that is with the thinking we have the least involvement as possible we're not going to answer OCD's question because that's that's all it wants to do is wants to keep us stuck and we're not going to let it keep us there we deserve more than that we deserve to get our lives back from OCD so thanks for watching today guys uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate you subscribing to my channel uh, it's amazing to hear a lot of the comments I have recently and I'm really hoping that these videos are helping you to get better because you truly deserve that see you in the next video